Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose hey, it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jessie. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is what's for dinner video. I made some delicious dishes this week, and you're not going to want to miss out on them. So let's get into this. What's We're for bringing in sexy back. What? You all don't know how to act. What? <laughs> It's Jesse's what's for dinner. What? <laughs> um, we're back after a long, long, much needed break. Um, tonight we are doing this uh, Legacy Food Shrimp Grillers marinated garlic parm flavor. Um, you're supposed to thaw them in the fridge for eight hours. Uh, I didn't know that. So I'm just gonna cook them longer in the oven. Um, so basically it comes in this little tray and it has like a, a plastic wrap over it. Uh, you're supposed to take the um, remove film prior to thawing. Um, I already took the film off. We're just going to cook it like that. I'm going to put it on a tray. I already had made two because I didn't know it came in a little tray. I guess I wasn't that observant. Uh, typical Jesse. Um, but I have uh, another tray because we're going to take this Tuscan loaf um, from Labrae Labre, Labre Bakery. Um, and we're going to make some garlic bread. We're making uh, Alfredo with, uh, what is the, it is this sauce, this pesto, mild chili pesto. Um, we're going to throw that in the Alfredo. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I got that at Woodman's. And I got that at Woodman's too. And then the shrimp I got at Walmart um, in the freezer section. We're going to cut this. I should have grabbed a serrated knife. That would have been smart on my part. That's fine. I'll make it work. place the halves like that and then I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna make a like garlic butter to go on top also I have water getting ready to boil for my pasta so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take a stick of butter and I'm gonna melt this in the microwave and when it is melted I will be right back add some minced garlic into our butter about a tablespoon. I also have my oven preheated to 375. The shrimp says to cook at 350, but like I said, I'm gonna cook it longer anyways. So I'll just keep an eye on it so I don't overcook it. I would follow the instructions. Don't do what I do on that one. I'm <laughs> um, just putting some parsley in there and then some Parmesan cheese. Probably about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Mix that up. You want to combine the garlic and the cheese with the butter. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I've got my bread. And we're going to take this. And you're going to brush it on to your bread loaves. Try to get down in those crevices if you have crevices on your bread. <laughs> <laughs> you can use whatever kind of bread you want to use. We had this and it needed to be used up. It said best if used by yesterday. So we were going to use it to make French bread pizzas. But we didn't get to it. We had other things that we did instead this week. That's okay though. It'll make delicious garlic bread. He doesn't like some good homemade garlic bread. I sure do. Covered in butter. Make sure you're covering as much of it as you can. You want all that delicious flavor. Sorry if you hear the dishwasher in the background in real life. Also, kids are watching Parent Trap. So you probably hear that too. Who knows? It's always amazing what the camera picks up and doesn't pick up. And 
it's been a while. I appreciate everybody supporting me and letting me take a break, though. We've had a lot going on here. Which, I think I'm going to make, uh, like, uh, like an update video before I post the what's for dinner video. So you probably already know how we've been doing all that. Alright, there's that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stick our shrimp in the oven. And our garlic bread. I'm going to stick it in for eight minutes and then check on it because I said to cook the shrimp that was thawed anyways, at least for seven minutes on each side in the oven and then flip. Um, but I also have it at a hotter temp. Um, plus I'll check on the bread and stuff like that, see where we're at with that. And I'll let you know how long that's going to take. And then we're going to move over here in a second and we're going to make the Alfredo. Water's boiling. I'm about to make the Alfredo sauce. So we're going to do the, I'm not even going to try to... Campanelli. I'm probably wrong. Um, that's the pasta we're going to go ahead and do. I'm probably going to do about three-fourths of the box. A stick of butter in here. We're going to melt this down and make our delicious Alfredo. Alright, our butter is melted down. So now you're going to take a little under a fourth a cup of flour. Put it in with your butter and you're going to whisk that into the flour. We're gonna let it cook for just a little bit and cook that flour down. The shrimp are still frozen, so we're gonna have to set another little timer for those. I'm gonna put another three or four, I'll put four minutes on them. All right, so let's have some time to cook. I'm gonna turn that down. We're gonna take the mild chili So, ooh, that smells really good. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. I'm gonna whisk that in to your butter mixture. Have some heavy cream. I'm going to slowly add that in. I just pour it till I get to the right consistency. I really should measure it out someday of how much I put in there. The flour thickens it up really nice. Need to add some more. That's about all the heavy cream I'm going to do. And then I'll add some more 1% milk if I feel like it needs a little bit more to thin it out. Alright, so we're going to Gonna need some salt and pepper to taste, whatever your preference is. Might put a little too much milk in. We shall see. But I'm also going to add some Parmesan cheese, so that'll help thicken it up as well.
And we're gonna let it simmer. It'll thicken up when it simmers. Those are the cheese clumps. <laughs> Try to break those up if you can. They'll melt down too as it simmers. Add a little more firm cheese. Especially where I added a little too much milk. This will help thicken it back up a little bit. Sometimes things don't work out the way that they should. It'll still be delicious though. It's the best part of cooking. Honestly though, there you go. It's thickening back up. Hey Jeffrey, could you drain the pasta from your loaf? Ooh, it does be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of parsley in this too. The garlic bread is done, looking delicious. Our Alfredo sauce is done, it's thickened up. We're gonna add it to our pasta here. So I got my noodles for the sauce in. Our shrimp are still cooking. Those are taking a little long, but like I said, I didn't thaw them out, so it's my own fault. Oh my, look at that. So delicious and it smells fantastic. Go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the temp off on that and then I'll come back on the shrimp. It's all plated up, the shrimp, that turned out really good. Um, and then the pasta and the garlic bread. This is dinner tonight. Tonight we're doing little French onion dipper sandwich thingies, you'll see. it's. I'm just creating. That's what I'm doing tonight. So I got Gary Quick Steak in a pan with some oil, some onion cut up, and we're going to add some other stuff. But I'm going to brown this up first. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions in. While that is starting to cook down, those will cook down with it. And then I'll come back when this is all cooked down and we'll add our seasoning in. Now that this is all kind of cooked down, I drained some of the liquid off of it. I have homemade French onion soup mix seasoning. Um, you could use the French onion soup packet too, but I'm just going to sprinkle probably about a fourth a cup, so that'd be equal to a packet of that on top of my meat and onions. And then, then you're going to go ahead and mix that in with your meat and your onions. You might need to add a little tiny splash with some water just to give enough moisture for that seasoning to kind of get attached to all your meat. But I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and then we're going to stick it inside of our crescent rolls. What we're going to do is we're going to take our crescent rolls. Also, I forgot to mention that French onion dip, I've made a video, or the French onion seasoning, I've made a video of that before. I'll link it down below in the description for you. Um, it is really, really good. I enjoyed that one. The ranch, I did not like at all. The ranch seasoning. And then the Italian seasoning is pretty good. Um, but I think I like the packet stuff more. Um, but if you had it like in a pinch, do it that way. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna take our crescent rolls. And then we're gonna put in some, oh my hands are too greasy. Uh oh, hold on. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I got some mozzarella cheese that I'm gonna be using for the inside. You could use whatever kind of cheese you like. But I'm kind of trying to keep this like French dip kind of style. 
So you're gonna take your crescent roll and then we have this delicious meat mixture that I've let cool down with the onions. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put a spoonful of it on your crescent roll. I think that was the hardest part was trying to keep it cool without meat grabbing at it. <laughs> and then you're gonna take some cheese, sprinkle that on there. And then attempt to roll up all that you've stuffed in there. You know what? That, whoop. I put too much. That's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fold it under. <laughs> It'd be more like a pocket. <laughs> I always suck at figuring out how much of, you know, my eyes are bigger than my stomach kind of thing. <laughs> You were born with that problem. Though. Yeah, I was. And whatever leftover meat we have, Jeffrey will probably make into sandwiches or I will for like a lunch or something. Oh no. <laughs> we love leftovers around here. Um, I went and washed my hands because I had touched the meat with it and I didn't want to stick that in the cheese bag. Should keep a clean hand, but it's kind of hard with. I should have put some cheese in a, a bowl or something. I'm not cross-contaminating. No, I might have you help me and just put the cheese on for me when I get to that point. It's cute that you assume my hands are clean. Kidding, kidding, I'm kidding. You're so funny. YouTube world, I'm kidding. Alright, so there's that. Don't be chintzy with the cheese. You're already complaining about it being too overfull, and it's way too overfull to be able to roll it. I know, so I'm folding it under and making little pockets instead. Well, that one I really <laughs> Worst case scenario, you eat it with a fork. Hopefully, I can kind of push, you know. Don't put as much meat as me, okay? I'm. Shh, don't listen to me. coming apart. There we go. Two more left to do. I think everyone out there watching will be like, wow, the lady with the three hands cooking again. <laughs> Only two. Have my ham handsome hubby helper, Jeffrey, as always. I don't know, leftovers. <laughs> He's been wanting to try it. All right. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. I think it usually says like 12 to 13 minutes for if you're cooking them. Yeah, it's 9 to 12 minutes. I'm probably going to do at least 14 to make sure that it gets cooked all the way through and I will be back when they're out of the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and make the au jus. I'm using the Orrington Farms. You could use, they have all sorts of packets and kinds, but we like the Orrington Farms one. I have a cup of boiling water, and it says to do two teaspoons, but Jeffrey says it's better with four, so that's what we're gonna do. 
got more of that like restaurant style au jus flavor if you do the more. Go ahead, stir that in. And then we still have a few minutes left on our thing, but this will be done and ready to go for when we're ready to eat. It is out of the oven. They look so good. I will show you when I plate it up. Here it is plated up. They look so good. And watch this. You can pick them up. So I'm gonna dunk it in that. There's our au jus. There's that. And this is your tonight. I am doing uh, Tyson's like teriyaki chicken, I think it is. I don't know the exact name. I will put it right across here. In the food club, cottage cheese, it's amazing. Uh, that's microwavable chicken. Uh, it's already pre-cooked, you just gotta heat it up in cottage cheese. It is hot today and I don't wanna heat up the house and I don't feel like having a really warm meal. So this is dinner tonight. Dinner tonight, Jeffrey was super nice and made me dinner because I had the kids uh, meet and greet with our teacher tonight. Um, he made some steak and then I've got some sour cream. Those are like the new little, new little potatoes. Um, and we roasted it with some olive oil and some of the Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning. Um, but this is dinner tonight. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it could give you some meal inspiration and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.